And this has a lot of function. Right now I haven't connected it to a solar panel yet. I just connected it to a lithium battery pack. And the one of the features is this is able to charge a sol uh, a lithium ion battery pack uh, using solar panel. So I'm just playing around with this, and right now I'm checking the different uh, settings. Here now is the battery voltage. I haphazardly connected it to the battery there, 12.3 and this is temperature this is the amp hour going into the battery um, if I have it set up so instead of uh, using an amp meter like this this reading will be here okay this is the amperage going to your load. So if you're in an RV or something like that, and if you want to know how how many amps your load is drawing, this will tell you. Okay, the total amp hours uh, put into your battery by your solar panel. The total amp hours going to your load from your battery. And this is the low level um, signal voltage. And uh, let's see here. Okay, let's go into the settings. Now, with a long press, you can set the number of hours your low can be on. It can be two hours three hours, four hours, or whatever. Zero, zero will be from dusk to dawn. Um, you can set your lights or anything like that. You want to control. Oh. This is the um, light level at which the, um, uh, the low would go on. This would be about 4 volts or so, if the solar panel senses about 4, 4.1 volt. Uh, anything lower than that, your, your load would go on and you can adjust that. This is the stop charging voltage. So if I were to charge a lithium pack, I would set it to 12.3 to 12.6 for a 3-cell uh, uh, pack. So this would be the float voltage and I would again set it to maybe 12.3 for a 3, uh, three in series lithium pack. And this is the um, recovery voltage. If you discharge your battery um, to a certain point and um, your low would not come back on until uh, the battery reaches 12.4 volt. And this is the low voltage disconnect to uh, protect your battery. If your low draws so much electricity, the uh, battery goes below 10.8, uh, it will disconnect. And this is the temperature for charging um, lead acid battery. You should set it to zero zero for charging uh, lithium ion batteries. That's it. So that's what I have to do. I have to hook up uh, my solar panels to it. Actually I just bought a 100 watt solar panel but the PWM solar controller that I'm using is still working just that my solar panel, the amorphous one, is no longer working so I bought a, a new solar panel and also a charge controller that gives a lot more information than the old one but for someone who's interested in a charge controller that has all the 
display and, and the readings, then this, this would be it. This costs uh, $27, including shipping. Came all the way from China. And there's a USB in the bottom here. You can connect a USB. And uh, you can also remotely control it, but I don't have that accessory. There's something else that you have to buy. Um, this is again the temperature. So uh, this, uh, this is something very interesting. So this is controlled by a 32-bit microprocessor. All right, I uh, hope you find this information useful. Again, this is the Wincong Win Kong solar charge controller. Let's make things better. All right, thanks for watching.